Good morning. Good morning. You all look so cold. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, that's better. I can see a smile. Um, let me tell you a story. Uh, a couple of years ago, um, when I met my now beautiful wife, uh, when we were dating, we had this mantra, um, being present. And being present means that um, whenever you're talking to someone, you pay attention. Uh, when you go on a date, uh, phones are not on the table, you pay attention to each other. Um, and now with our kids, we try not to have our gadgets uh, when um, we're with them. So that we are present in the moment. So I'd like you to remember that phrase, be present. So ladies and gentlemen, I'm honored to stand before you today at the third annual Youth Voices Summit. This gathering is a testament to our commitment to amplify the voices of the youth, a demographic that holds the key to our collective future. As Dr. David has mentioned, uh, a large percentage of the African population actually use. And that's why Africa is actually blessed. When you look at other continents, um, Africa is blessed with a very large percentage of youth who can uh, make a difference in the future. For the next three days, we'll delve into critical topics that shape the landscape of global health and well-being. Allow me first by, uh, to welcome you to this great institution. As my colleague Betty has said, this is an institution of health sciences, and that is our focus at the university. And we have a number of programs. Uh, feel free when you are on break to walk around, look at our, find out from our receptionist and get our brochures. I know some of you recently graduated or are soon graduating, but we have a number of professional uh, programs that you can undertake. Our commitment to nurturing talent and fostering innovation aligns seamlessly with the goals of this conference, to empower youth to be catalysts of change in the healthcare sector. Our strategic focus has four pillars that align with the theme of this conference, and our four pillars are Developing fit for purpose leaders for Africa's primary health care. The second one is sustaining an environment that promotes equitable access to learning, development of appropriate PHC uh, health workforce. Thirdly, to drive evidence based PHC for lasting health change in Africa. And last but not least, undertaking projects that bridge the gap to practice uh, training, research, and community service. So you can see our strategic focus actually aligned with the right culture philosophy. As we navigate the complex terrain of healthcare, one pillar stands tall, that is leadership and governance. The realization of universal health coverage demands effective leadership that is not only visionary, but also inclusive. Over the next three days, we will explore the role of the youth steering the shift towards a future where health is a universal right and not a privilege. Our focus extends beyond leadership to recognize the youth as both providers and consumers of health services. Their unique perspectives, digital fluency, and passion for innovation make them invaluable contributors to the healthcare system. By harnessing the power of youth, we can bridge the gap, break barriers, and redefine the dynamics of healthcare delivery. However, for the youth to play these pivotal roles, we must invest in training, employment, and retention as healthcare service providers. The journey from education to meaningful employment should be seamless, ensuring that the youth are equipped with skills and resources necessary to thrive in the healthcare landscape. Private sector driven investments play a crucial role in shaping the future of healthcare. By fostering partnerships between the private sector and the youth, we can look 
we can unlock new avenues for innovation, collaboration, and sustainability. The private sector has the potential to be a driving force for positive change, creating opportunities that propel us towards a future where quality healthcare is accessible to all. Healthcare financing, as David mentioned, is an entry in the pursuit of universal healthcare. Today, we explore innovative financing models that can bridge funding gaps and ensure that resources are allocated efficiently. As we navigate the complexities of financing, let us not forget the importance of transparency, accountability, and the equitable distribution of resources. Lastly, access to essential medicines remains a cornerstone in the formulation of a robust healthcare system. The youth with their dynamism and fresh perspectives can play a pivotal role in ensuring that essential medicines are not just available, but also affordable and accessible to all. In conclusion, as we embark on this journey together, let us be mindful, that, mindful of the power that resides in the collective voices of the youth. The decisions we make over the next three days will reverberate for generations to come. Together, let us build a future where health knows no boundaries and the youth stand at the forefront of transformative change. Thank you. So in the next three days throughout the conference, please be present, pay attention, make your voice heard so that you can make lasting change. Thank you very much. And all the best in the conference.